guys anybody who knows anything about the middle east even the okay anybody that knows anything about the middle east this, this better be good this better be good the tiniest bit about the middle east will tell you what what al-qaeda is fundamentalist sunni al-qaeda is fundamentalist sunni they're salafists okay or wahhabists oh don't tell them that they don't like that they like salafists iran is a is a shia theocracy okay not only are they not allies okay they are mortal enemies all right yes but you have a, a, a shia theocracy and you know a sunni fundamentalism okay the idea that sunnis and shias will never work with each other because they are enemies is absolutely ridiculous okay and the fact that Al Qaeda is and Al Qaeda and ISIS are anti-Islamic Republic is has a lot to do with the fact that they're anti-Shia Sunnis, but it's not just about them being Sunnis. Okay, I don't know if Kyle knows this, but Hamas. Last guys, correct me if I'm wrong, wrong about this. Okay, last time I checked. Hamas is Sunni. No? Hamas is Sunni. Last time I checked. Hamas, Hamas's main supporter, both financially and other resources, is the Islamic Republic of Iran, which is, last time I checked, correct me if I'm wrong, Shia. So this idea that because they're Sunni and they're Shia, that means they will never be able to work with each other is ridiculous, okay? So it's true that Al-Qaeda Al working with Iran is more insane to imagine, more ridiculous to imagine than other, like Hamas and the Islam Islamic Republic. But this idea that because this is Sunni and they're Shia, there's no way for them to work with each other, is an idiotic suggestion. And for you to suggest that, Kyle, means that you have no idea what you're talking about because you should know Hamas and Iran work with each other and Hamas is Sunni and Iran is Shia. So you're full of crap, Kyle Kowinski. There's a lot more, again, I'm not denying that the Shia Sunni part div divide is a large component of that, but there, it goes a lot, there's a lot more to it than that. And Al Qaeda and Iran, even though they are mortal enemies, have been helpful strategically to each other, but most of the time unintentionally, but sometimes intentionally just sometimes sometimes very few but sometimes okay so there is a way for enemies to use each other for against other enemies for example when assad do you think assad um do you think <laughs> what do you think isis will do to assad if they uh, isis gets their hands on uh, assad right do you think assad and isis are allies Why do you think Assad let go of a whole bunch of ISIS sympathizers from prison? Hmm? Sometimes your enemies are useful against your other enemies. So just because Al Qaeda and Iran are more are enemies, that doesn't mean they can't that the Islamic Republic of Iran wouldn't think about using them against their other enemies at certain points. Uh all right, let's continue. Iran is literally ahead of the United States in terms of um, who Al-Qaeda wants to wipe out. 
True, true. However, actually, let me see if I have this prepared for you guys, okay? This happened recently. FBI's most wanted Al-Qaeda second in command killed in Iran by Israeli operatives. Okay? You could go look at this. Should, do you want me to read this for you? Let me know if you want me to read this for you, okay? But you could go and see what happened here. And again, when I do, when I look at the news, I do try to look at the background and usually I go to their Wikipedia page and see if there's any right wing or left wing bias. And even Mehdi Hassan, it seems like to think like this, this news is not right wing, so it's okay. So this is, you could, I mean, you could go, you could, by the way, you could even go look at this guy. Uh, second, you know, this guy was Al Qaeda. He was apparently in Tehran. He was apparently being, okay, let me actually read this really quickly for you guys, okay? Um, this guy is Abu Muhammad al Masri, the 50 year old, 58 year old, is said to have been killed with his daughter, uh, the widow of Osama bin Laden's son, uh, Abdullah. Abdullah Ahmed Abdullah, Al Qaeda's second in command, is reported to have been killed in Iran by Israeli operatives three months ago, going under several aliases, including Abu Muhammad al Masri. The Egyptian born militant had long been featured on the FBI's most wanted terrorist list. He was gunned down by two men on a motorcycle in the streets of Tehran on August 7th uh, at the behest of the United States, according to the New York Times. Masri was said to have been killed along with his daughter, Mar Miriam, the widow of Osama bin Laden's son, Hamza bin Laden. Uh, the paper says Iran's officials, news media identified the victims as. Habib Daoud, a Lebanese history professor, and his 27-year-old daughter, Maryam. However, they claimed that those uh, names were simply an alias. Okay, okay, whatever. Uh, an FBI po uh, poster. Yeah, okay, so this guy, Mastery was uh, a professional. I don't care about that. By the 90s, he's understood to have been one of bin Laden's closest associates. So this guy was one of Bin Laden's closest associates. But uh, oh my God, this, they're telling us who Bin Laden is. Amazing. The paper cited intelligence officials as the source of. Um, okay, I don't care about that right now. Foreign mystery. All right, this you could go read the rest of this if you want. Okay, but this guy, this dude was in Tehran, just chilling there. I mean, you know. Again, if you if, a lot of people get triggered when I bring up a Wikipedia uh, article, people are like, "Oh my God, it's Wikipedia!" Guys, there's sources here. You could go to check the sources at the bottom if you don't believe the Wikipedia article, just to see if the sources are accurate or not. So you could go look at this guy and see what the freak he was doing in Iran, and why was he protected by the Iranian government and all. So, I mean, I don't know if Kyle knew about this. But again, this guy was just chilling in Tehran, okay? Al Qaeda second in command before he was taken out, okay? In November 2020, um, so sorry, in August 7th, uh, in August 2020, uh, he was killed by Israeli agents at the request of the United States. I mean, that's pretty good job, by the way. Great job, okay? So, does that mean that I believe Pompeo? No. Like, he's like, oh, it's now the center of Al-Qaeda. It's now they're finding a home base. I don't believe, like, I mean, he, is it beyond, is it impossible? No, it's not impossible. Is it likely? No, it's not likely. Is he exaggerating? Probably. Is it, is it, is it a chance that he's not exaggerating? Yes, there's a chance that he's not exaggerating. But is Kyle correct to suggest that there is no way for Iran Islamic Republic to do anything with Al Qaeda? No, they have a record of doing that, even though they are enemies. Okay. In fact, here. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? That like. Do you understand that, Kyle? Again, Kyle, Kyle thinks like he just knows a few things about the Middle East. He just thinks like, okay, Shias and Sunnis, Shias hate Sunnis. Sunni means Saudi Arabia, Shia means Iran. Sunnis were behind 9-11. Uh, Shias, 
uh, as uh, he thinks are behind no terrorist attacks. That's what he thinks. Um, so Shia's good. Sunni's bad. Uh, uh, Sunnis are we could be anti Saudi Arabia so that we're not anti Muslim. So we could just say every time instead of. And we're not anti-Islam either. We just say Saudi Arabia bad, Saudi Arabia bad. And that's okay because we're so anti-American uh, that any allies of America would also be okay for us to say bad. So because Saudi Arabia is an ally of the United States, it's safe for us to say, no, it's not Islam. It's not Muslims. It's Saudi Arabia bad, Saudi Arabia bad, okay? And it's Sunnis. He has this whole, he, he has such... He 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 just thinks like everything bad happens from Sunni Islam and Shias are mostly okay. That's what he thinks. Okay, that's th that's how he thinks, and he just has that in his mind. And any amount of extra nuance that might uh, challenge that world that he has built in his head, he do he's not a either he's not aware of it or he's not looking for it or if he's being I don't know if anybody is bringing this to because he's been doing this for a long time. I don't know if anybody is bringing this to his attention because he's so wrong because of this his, this simplistic view that he has just makes him have such bad takes so often. Oh, my God. There's deep, deep, among Sunni fundamentalists, anti-Shia sentiment is perhaps even more than anti-American sentiment. Do you not understand that? Oh my God! He keeps saying that as if he he thinks he's so wise because he knows that Shias and Sunnis have a conflict. He thinks he's so wise. By the way, do you call? Do you know it's the other way around as well? Do you know among like Shirazi um, Shias, there's such a hate for Sunnis? Do you know like do you want to frame it the other way as well? Because you keep making it seem like it's just the Sunnis who have so much hate in their mind. I know a lot of you guys understand that. Anybody who knows anything about the Middle East understands that. But that's not you, Kyle. You don't understand anything about the Middle East. They're really trying to build the case that no, they're actually allies. And they've been for decades. He said they've been for decades. Yes, I, I, there was records of Iran. No, okay, they're not allies. He's an idiot and you're an idiot. You're both idiots, okay? I mean, at least at least you are not malicious. Okay, maybe he's not an idiot. Maybe he's just malicious, okay? But, yeah, you're better. Okay, you're an idiot. He's not. Um, he, he should know better because he has intelligence reports. But they, they, they're they not allies, but they have been using them for decades. Yes, they have been. I'm just stunned at the, the nature of the lies that they try to get away with. And also subscribe to our newsletter because if we get removed from all these uh, platforms, at least we could reach out to you and guys by the way if you subscribe to our newsletter you get a free copy uh why there's not where's your copy susanna get it get it get it we're doing promotion you get a free it's not even promotion it's free okay so if you subscribe to our newsletter link in the description you get a free copy of why there's no god ah Come on, like I'm handing it out for free. Okay, it's a bestseller on Amazon and you get it for free. So subscribe to our newsletter and you get a free copy of Why There's No God sent to you. Link in the description.